Merry Christmas! Alex here from Reveloper.com and this is the last tutorial from our Advent Calendar tutorial series. And today we are finally going to submit our app to the App Store for review. So let's get started. First of all, let's commit our changes that we made yesterday. So, okay, and let's push to remote and let's commit our 18 files and push them up to GitHub. Now, I uh, said here that it is almost ready because we still need to add a little bit of changes and a little bit of setup that we will do today. Okay, let's wait for it. Great. Now, one uh, tiny little detail that is um, kind of a game changer uh, to the gameplay is that when we, this is the issue, when we play and tap on the wrong uh, donuts, then there is this, this kind of uh, black thing and let me just show you it. It's much easier to explain when you see it in action. And we will fix that now, okay? Here we go. Let me put out this music and let's play. And let, let's see if we tap on this one. You see, it's, it's, it isn't, didn't really tap the one that we kind of thought. Go ahead and rewind the video if you did not see that and it kind of uh, turns into black. So let's fix that. First of all, let's make uh, the correct Z position for every donut. And that is quite simple because here I will put an I in the for loop and I will simply put the Z position to I. And now the winner donut should be the uh, let's uh, convert this to CG float. Now the Z position of our winner donut should be 31. And here again, CG float and 31. This way it is uh, at the very top of our stack. And I will just make this even harder uh, with the 51% of our width percentage. Good stuff. Now the other thing is here with the BD button and when we tap on this button we make the uh, alpha mask to be 0. Point, let me just scroll down here 0. 0.5 and I don't want to, to do that. I just want this to be uh, 0. I believe that well 1. That should fix it. Now let's build and run again and see the whole app in action. And finally after that we are going to create our app in iTunes Connect. Okay, and let's go down here. Yes, that is what we wanted to see. Okay, uh, one more thing before we dive into iTunes Connect is to create our Let's go here, our app icon. So let's see what we need. So all of these are needed. And we are going to first, first create our biggest App Store iOS icon. And let's open up our Photoshop here. Okay, let's create a new one. And the size should be 1024 by 1024. Okay, let's create this. And now I will just simply go ahead and drag and drop from my UI the background. And I will just put it like so. Really simple uh, icon here resembling to the theme of the app. And finally, I'm going to select one donut. Let me just choose maybe maybe let's see maybe this one yeah this one will be fine the flashier the better i will just scale this a little bit up okay let's place this and let's save it out uh, save as and let's save this into our act game resources so i will just name this icon and 
save it as a PNG. Make sure that you do not have alpha values, any alpha values in your uh, app icon. That is not permitted by Apple. The whole iOS will take care of the rounded corner of our icons. Now, uh, once this will be saved, we will uh, do open up our icon kit and I will just simply drag and drop my icon into this smart little program here and let's save, uh, let's see, uh, items artwork, yes this is fine and we are going to add this into our ECT game resources uh, and let's generate app icon, app icon set and JSON file. Okay, let's export it here and here we are. Now, what we need to do is just simply delete the default app icon and uh, drag and drop it here. And uh, you will see that uh, at the moment our biggest app store icon is missing. No problem, we will just simply drag and uh, drop it here. Yeah. And we are ready. And I believe we are finally uh, ready with our app. All we need to do is one little thing and we will fix that in just a moment. We need to add our app ID. Everything else is set up. So, um, first of all, we need to register our bundle identifier with uh, the developer portal and that is fairly easy we just simply go into capabilities and let's see we enable in-app purchases we will not use in-app purchases but uh, with this action we will force Xcode to contact the Apple developer account and create your app ID automatically. It uh, says here that provision profile and signing certificate and managing signing is automatically covered by Xcode, but it will not create any app IDs unless you select and uh, then of course you can deselect this uh, from your Xcode capabilities. Okay, now that we have created our app bundle identifier, let's go ahead and well, first of all, let's double check developer.apple.com and of course sign in and then go to your account and then go to certificates, identifiers and profiles and under app IDs, go ahead and search for it. So I will just type in here ACT. Let me see what that matches and here we have it com.rebeloper.act game. Good stuff. So it worked. Let's go to our account and let's go to iTunes Connect. Let's go to iTunes Connect. And now we are going to create finally our app. Go select my apps and select, well, let's select our own account, not one of my client's account. Of course, you can always hire us go ahead and take a look at our site. We do have a page with a hire us submission. Okay, now we want to create a new app. Let's click on the plus button and select a new app. And it will be an iOS name. And this is where we will find out if this, the biggest donut is taken for the uh, title or not. So I will just choose primary language English, bundle identifier, and we just need to select ACT, the, the automatically created bundle ID and ask you, I believe this isn't taken already. Let's create it. It seems that the title and the SKU number isn't taken, so this is very good news. Okay, let's add here, the, first of all, let's add our Apple ID. I will just copy this out and then go to Xcode and inside ACT Manager, let's add this app ID here. This is used for the rating system, okay? And I believe we are ready. Let's commit. And I would just type in here. 
let's commit all of these files and now uh, let's upload our uh, project so we will just choose here generic iOS device product and let us just clean and I am pushing up the new build so this is how this will look like version 1.0 and build number one so I am pushing up the new build because it takes around 15 minutes to process it it might take longer for you but it takes a little while till then we are going to set up everything in items connect so go ahead and we have cleaned it let's clean it again well it is indexing let's wait that till then let's go back to our app information and for the subtitle I will just choose let's write here okay and we have already used all of the characters allowed okay category of course is games subcategory and let's say this, this should be well family and maybe puzzle Okay, let's save it. Always don't forget to save your progress. Okay, and that looks okay. Now pricing and availability. Let's go ahead and choose a free and let's go ahead and save. That is all we need to do. We will uh, let users download it for free because we will make money from the ads. Okay, now. We don't need any features if you want to add in a purchases or game center you can do that here here uh, in the activity we will see the new build once it was uploaded and now we go to the apps under app store we prepare for submission now let's see what we can change immediately well first of all our version should be 1.0.0 let's added the rating none of these app content descriptions are available to our app so i'll just choose the first row and no no this isn't made for kids because they, it would need to uh, adhere to some extra special rules so let's click on the done there and let's save it okay and let's see how our xcode is working it's still indexing well let's go ahead and now app review information we don't need a sign-in isn't required and I will release it automatically so let's go up here so promotional text what is this let's let's take a look promotional text lets you inform your app store visitors of any current app features without requiring an updated submission so this is pretty awesome because you cannot really you cannot change the description but you can change the promotional text like if you uh, have some uh, servers that you changed let's say 10 coins now are just 199 okay so you can have promotional text here I will just skip this for now and the description should be let's see pretty uh, well in terms of ASO this doesn't really matter so let's type in here now keywords well you should use all of the keywords all of the characters in the keywords field so I will just type in here donut and a comma and I will not put a space here so is just uh, from the top of my head you should add as many as you can now let me just type in here a few more here we are and let's save it so we don't you uh, lose this as you can see I have added keyword phrases too so uh, girls Believe we cannot have for kids not girls I will just delete this boy and type in here girls okay uh, because keyword phrases are the way uh, real people just search the App Store support URL 
developer.com but you could just simply add your newly created Facebook page for this game or for your app portfolio. Okay, let's save for now. And now let's just scroll down and I believe we are nearly ready. All we need to do is add our app previews and screenshots. Well, we will not create previews for this tutorial, but we will add one screenshot and let's see now. It is still indexing, maybe uh, it was stuck, but now I will just create our screenshots. So let's select our iPhone X, a 10 and let's build now. So now that it has finished indexing, one thing that I have uh, uh, noticed that we haven't set the Z position of the score label correctly, so I will just type in here 32. Okay, now we need to create our screenshots. And I have already uh, created my screenshots and they are here. Let's go YouTube Advent Calendar, ACT Game Resources. Okay, and we need to create a one for the iPhone 10, one for the iPhone and one for the iPad. And iTunes Connect will take care of generating the other sizes from these ones. Okay, now one thing to remember is the screen sizes of these screenshots. And that is uh, 2048 by uh, 2732 for the iPad. And 1242 by 2208 for the iPhone and 1128 by uh, 2436 for the iPhone 10. Now these dimensions need to be exactly the same as this one. Now how do you how do you create your screenshots? Well it's fairly simple. You just build on the simulator. Of course, you will need an uh, Photoshop or something uh, equivalent, so you may scale these screenshots that we are going to immediately take. So I just go there and let's go to File, New Screenshot, and it will be dropped onto your desktop. Now, you just need to drag and drop it into uh, Photoshop so you may size this to the correct uh, size of the screen and then you just need to uh, export them in a PNG format. Now what we need to do is just, well, before we add our screenshots, let us just select, let's just archive and upload to the app store. So let's uh, select your generic iOS device and uh, go to product. Okay, clean and now product archive. Now it is archiving, it is creating an EPA file that you will upload to the App Store as this build. And um, I am doing this uh, now before we even go and upload our screenshots uh, because this will take a while to upload, of course, and it will take a while to process this build because. Uh, at the App Store needs to, well, iTunes Connect needs to process your build. So we are starting to upload to the App Store. Click Next here, automatically manage signing. Yes, please. And now uh, we are setting up the IPA file and all of the things that need to be set up in order for this IPA file to be uploaded onto iTunes Connect. So let's just wait for it. We are creating the ACT game IPA file here. And here we go. And here is a summary of our upload and let's click on upload. And let's just wait just a little bit so we may stop. Okay, here it is starting and it will upload eventually. Now, till that happens, let's go back to iTunes Connect and let's upload, first of all, our iPhone 10 screenshot. Okay, let's just, just drag and drop it here and let's wait for it. Good. Now go to the iPhone 
5.5 inch display and again go with the iPhone version let us just drag and drop it there and let's wait for it to process it okay now um, it sees that this is a 5.5 display and it asks us if we want the other device sizes to be generated from this screenshot and I will just say okay and the same will be applied for our iPad easy as simply adding your iPhone your iPad and your iPhone 10 screenshot okay finally we need to click on OK so this will be used for the other iPad versions too, screen versions too. Now let's click on save. Of course, you could add up to five screenshots and up to three app previews. Go ahead and use them all so your users, your, uh, uh, your next users, so those who will download the app, get a rough idea of what the app looks like. Okay, now let us just scroll down and take a look at the finishing touches. Uh, we still need to upload the build. Maybe add here a copyright, like 2017. And the copyright symbol is Alt G. And let's. Okay, let's just scroll down. And I will add my contact information here. Uh, make sure with the phone number you start off with a plus sign and your country code and your telephone number. I will just cut this out because it is private, okay? Okay, once you are done with that, click on save and we should be ready uh, for our submission. All we need to do now is wait for the build and let's see if it has been uploaded yes upload successful click on done and you can just close uh, this window and let's go back to items connect and select activity and inside here you will see your version number and your build number the version number is 1.0.0 and the build number is 1 and it says it is processing now this will take from 15 minutes to half an hour, maybe a few hours. It all depends on your account. Uh, I will come back to you when this is processed and we will finally submit for review. Okay, now that uh, everything has been processed, as you can see, we are roughly about 19 minutes later. Uh, we are ready to submit our app. So go to the app store and then prepare for submission and then we have our let's just scroll down and let's see here we have our build let's click on that and select our processed build and uh, let's select the done there and let's save it and finally we are going to submit it for review just click on this little button submit for review Okay, now it will ask us a few questions and export compliance, is your app designed to use cryptography or does it contain or incorporate cryptography? Uh, no, it does not. Uh, content rights, uh, does your app contain or display your access third party content? No. And here comes the tricky part because we use Charboost and ad network advertising identifier. We do use the EDFA and we use it to serve advertisement within the app and I will agree to the terms of service and I confirm that this app and so on. So finally we hit submit and we wait for that magic uh, status waiting for review and there it is waiting for the review. Now your review time uh, could vary from 24 hours to 48 hours generally it doesn't take much longer than that or it could take even less now we will wait for it and uh, hopefully you will see the biggest donut on the app store just go ahead and search for it i hope you enjoyed this advent calendar tutorial all of this challenge for 20 
eight days I have put out one video per day uh, teaching you all of this go ahead and revisit the videos if you have questions go ahead and add them in the comment section and of course uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos of me doing all of this iOS stuff. So this is the end of the playlist. Hope you enjoyed uh, these 28 videos and as usual I will see you in the next one.